What's up, guys? This is Real Estate Podcast, episode 107. I'm here with Griffin. I'm here with Trav. And I'm here with Adam. You fucking fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and this week we watched Blue Velvet. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. oh. What, a, what uh, an experience. Like, what the hell? Um, Where y'all want to start? Hey, now, I've been waiting to say this. Because the other night, last <laughs> night, was it last night? you like, I still yeah. don't know where that fucking ear came from. We know where the ear came from. It's from her husband. Yeah, it's in the movie. Vanga. And then at yeah. the end, you see him. That's him dead in the living room. Yeah. With the and his ear's cop. missing. Yeah. That cop like, was fucked up, wasn't he? Yeah. He was still alive. That whole, that whole movie was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened in that apartment building? I don't know, dude. Because, because they beat the shit out of her. Yeah. And dropped her off at his house, I guess. I, this, I don't know. I mean, that's that's the question. Oh, I don't know how she Dennis ended up Hopper, there. Like, there needs to be a movie just called Dennis Hopper Does Drugs, and it's yeah. two hours of him doing various copious amounts Being of dead. product. And just, yeah, I mean, I mean, let that be the ending, but, like, at least the first two hours is going to be crazy. You ever seen um, Easy Rider? Yeah. All the drugs that they do in that movie time. are real. Can we find out what he was huffing? Because he uh, bust that thing out. And he, uh, you could see his veins on his face. like. And he's like, don't fucking look at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, he would knock the shit out of her. And then he did that really fucking weird like spasm on her and shit like we was humping just, her he finished yeah man. he was done <laughs> dude fucks like a jackrabbit yeah he was in and out God, he put his disease in her i'm uh, gonna say it, look i'm gonna say this what's his name david lynch dude it's like for me uh my whole life what's that guy woody allen yeah. There's a lot of people that's like, oh, yeah, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not into it. Yeah. I'm going to have to say, dude, David Lynch, man, I don't get the hype. I think it's just his shit was just so weird. Well, the movie came out in 86. Mm -hmm. So. It's probably what? one of those things like where people leave it and they're like, I didn't like it. And then some other guy's like, oh, well, you probably just didn't get it. It's yeah. like, didn't get it. Well, I mean, it's, it's just. It's. Weird. It's eccentric to for the sake of on being purpose eccentric. yeah like to me it feels like <clears throat> all right frank dennis hopper whatever is what was his last his, name frank booth that's it he he was a great like his character was great his, he carried the whole movie but the everybody else was just kind of meh you know like it was just this movie was full of chuffa chuffa dude oh, yeah. sure you remember like there's this one scene where he's like dude he's walking to the hospital to see his dad and he picks yeah. up a rock and throws it at that building and yeah. it looked yeah. like he told him he's like when you walk by pick a rock up and throw it like because the way he did it wasn't natural at all you know and then he right. did it on the way back and that's when he finds the ear but then after that it like for a split second it cuts to him in this diner with this girl for dude for like less than two minutes yeah I know. and then it cuts away and it's like where's the rest of that scene I know they shot more than that. Like, well, it seems you ever been like, to Arlene's? <coughs> it seems like David Lynch and Kyle McLaughlin, I think is his name. They're they're definitely like they're buddies, you know. Is that the main guy? Yeah, I know that was his name. What's his name? He, in this movie? I mean, Frank uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Yeah. He said, what's your name? He said, you know, he's, he said, my name's, what do you say? My name's Stan. What's your name? Stanley? Is that what he said? He said, yeah, what's he's your name? He's, like, yeah, really. Twin Pete. he's also in uh, Dune. He's yeah. Atreides. So, I mean, you can kind of, you can, you can tell there's that base of like Lynch actors. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure there's he's like, got his, he's got his fucking as well. skew universe. Yeah, he does. He's got his Lynch pen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Copyright trademark 2019. I've, I've got the I've got it here. So throughout the film, Frank Booth uses a medical mask and a tube to inhale some kind of stimulant from an aerosol canister. 
the, the identity of the gas is subject of controversy. Lynch's script specified helium to raise Frank's voice and to have it resemble that of, a, of an infant. However, during filming, Hopper, an experienced drug user, claimed <laughs> to have insight into Frank's choice of drug and said that helium was inappropriate. L- Lynch later explained the change. I'm thankful to Dennis because up until the last minute, it was going to be helium to make the difference between d- daddy and the baby that much more. How goofy would that have been? Oh my God. But I didn't know. Baba nice. wants to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. He said, but I didn't want it to be funny. So helium went out the window and became just a gas. Then in the first rehearsal, Dennis said, David, I know what's in these different canisters. And I said, thank God, Dennis that you know that and he named all the gases in a documentary in 2002 in the special edition dvd release of the film uh hopper claims the drug was amyl nitrate medication used recreation recreationally as an inhalant in the disco club scene oh whippets yeah pretty much yeah yeah okay i've done those did it make you Wanna fuck? Nah, it goes. It <laughs> makes you want to do this. It doesn't last long either. It's just a. That's why. Well, he only did it whenever shit was about to get real. Yeah, like you when they're in the car, and you can and you can yeah. always hear that thing running. Yeah. And he pulls a mask out of his pocket, and I was like, dude, he's like, don't fucking look at me. He didn't want nobody looking at him when he did it. No. Because it's like, dude, what the fuck? Who carries around a fucking mask like yeah, that in their in pocket a in a tank? Yeah. <laughs> right. This guy. Um, well, <laughs> the the movie got ten thousand times better, ten thousand times better. Whenever when Frank shows up, well, when Frank shows up, the, whenever he's at the chick's house, mm-hmm. and they and they go to that weird fucking that weird place, like his fucking um, where he's keeping the kid. Was it at. Ed's or Eddie? Uh, Bill? I think it was. Oh. I think it was Eddie. Let's see. What, what was the actor's name that did that? Hang on, man. Uh, yeah, I was telling uh, Griffin, uh, <clears throat> the guy that played Candy Colored Clown, that is the guy that played, uh, what was his name? He was the the doctor that betrayed him and uh, the dude boom. with the diamond on his face. Yeah, and he's that's the dude from Quantum Leap. It's like you're not gonna make it. You ain't got enough time. Hey, uh, Ben, he, old Ben, we gotta go to Dean Stockwell. Let's go to old Ben's house. He was really good. He said, "What kind of beer are you like?" And he's like, uh, "Heineken." Heineken. Heineken. <laughs> Paps Paps Blue, Blue, Blue. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> like a Paps. This is a PBR commercial, dude. If I ever saw one, I think For Ben. Real. Like he was doing a good job. This is the way I felt. If I met Ben, I'd be like, Ben's on heroin for sure. Because he like fell asleep. Yeah. He, he was did. like, let's drink. He's like, you're a suave motherfucker, man. Look at old Ben over here. He's suave so motherfucker. Suave. He's so cool. And he gave him, he's like, let's drink a beer. Let's get a glass. Yeah. He's, he's like, like you know, laid back. And he goes, where's the fucking glasses at? Yeah. He's like, you want me to pour it? And he's like, no, I want you to fuck it. That's what he said, dude. <laughs> No, I want you to fuck it. Dude. Yeah, pour it. That, I mean, he was, is the movie. Before we watched favorite. it, I told you, I was like, you watch this movie for him. Like, that's... Yeah. My, um, that was my favorite part of the movie, though. When, when they, they go, go to, to that, that house, house, it is, Oh, dude. my God. It's, it's so, so trippy. It's so weird. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's shot very well. It the is. Room, the lighting in the room, the way it looks. And I watched a good copy. It just looked really good. And then when he takes that light, dude, and he's like propped up against the wall. I love the way it was shot. It looked so badass. And it fit, it just fit it. Like this is, this is what these kind of people do. Well, I was hoping that like, cause this is, I've never seen the movie. I was hoping that like from the time that he finds, you know, Jeffrey in the apartment from that point till the end of the movie, it was just a downhill roller coaster ride of like fucked up non- because like the first stop would have been at that house mm-hmm. like after you know and then it just keeps getting more fucked up and more fucked up and like just into this world of like whatever the fuck frank was up and, you know and if saying? you can pay attention 
It's not that hard to follow what's going on here. No, like, not at all. No. I mean, um, they, so he, he kidnaps, Frank kidnaps the kid and the husband and holds them hostage because he is fascinated. Well, Frank has an obsession with music. Yeah. He needs it to much. like get off. Like, yeah. That's, which brings me to my next thing. I think I'm going to do a Spotify Frank Booth playlist. Oh my God. I mean, come on. Yeah. Why not? To be fair, the her version of Blue Velvet was pretty good. I liked it. Was that um, really her yeah. singing it, you think? No, nah, I don't think so. Oh. Blue. Her real Velvet. voice had an accent. Yeah, I know. Well, you know, Ozzy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know. Did y'all notice uh, Happy Gilmore's mom? Yes. Yeah. Did I trouble you for a warm glass of milk? <laughs> it was put me to sleep. Every time no. I see her, I'm like, you could trouble me for a warm glass to shut the hell up. <laughs> you also the, she's also from uh, <clears throat> from Seinfeld. She's the Marble Rye lady. Yeah. yeah. My Marble Rye? She just got that face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was him. But the first time I watched this movie, that was my favorite scene. It was when they go to that yeah. house. I was like, this is bizarre. Like, Yeah. All kinds of bizarre. And then they go from there. He's like, load it up. No, he said, he said, you want to go for a ride? He's like, no, I don't want to go. Go where for a ride? Fucking good idea. You know, <laughs> it's like, wait, what happened just now? Right. You just got reversed. You just got Frank Booth. Okay. <laughs> he just hit you Watch with a little reverse hey, side. Yeah. College. He's like, go where for a ride? Good idea. <laughs> Let's go. And it's like, whoa. He is so fucking intense. He's lucky they didn't kill him. I know for real. Had he they known what that. he was up to? They would have killed that motherfucker, dude. Yeah. So, like, we just got a glimpse. Like, I'm guessing this is in the 50s, late 50s, something. I mean, judging yeah. by the way everything looks. Yeah. And the way people are dressed and something, like, late 50s or something. I don't know. But, so, Frank is like a gangster. I mean, he's, hey, he's yeah, got he's a business. Legit. He's running drugs. He's just, he's fucked up. Yeah, he is. He's got some, like, either, he's got some mommy issues obviously big time so you had never oh, yeah. seen it man oh. so when whenever she sat down in that chair he's hiding in the closet and she was gonna fuck him dude she like put him back in the closet take it in that hurry frank's coming yeah so she sits down in the chair and he's like Sss. you know he starts huffing he's and then like he gets spreading. down yeah he gets down on his knees and crawls up and like yells at it yeah. it's like what the fuck dude? <laughs> that was so whatever that what a perfect way to introduce him it, it really. was yeah he can't he can't he comes in strong <laughs> real <laughs> strong like baby what the fuck <laughs> cuts the like blue velvet off the a little piece and of the velvet it. yeah yeah stuffs it in her mouth later in the movie when they're at the uh, lumber yard yeah all right fat girl gets out and starts dancing on the car I mean, oh how God. weird was that? Like, she's up there dancing on it, and then it he's like too, trying to. It's like it's like the most. It makes you feel like you're high. It really does. When you watch this movie, you feel like something. Yeah, I mean, and it's not like because it's just so weird. Yeah, that was that scene was insane. He gets him out of the car and all that shit, and then he's like, "Well, well he punched um, him in the face." Yeah, well, he tells him to put that tape in. He's like, candy, candy colored clown. Yeah, and he's like, I got you. And that chick just gets out like she. Yeah, she just, knew what was up. Yeah, and she just starts fucking dancing. Gets on while top of the car, and then her dancing doesn't even match the music. Like, <laughs> no, not at all. It's all off time. He probably did it on purpose. He's like, don't, don't listen to the song. Just yeah, he probably played a different song. Probably it sounded. It looked like dancing. she was dancing to like some Beach Boys or something. All right. I need to go back and like put different songs over that, like just to see what <laughs> yeah. matches up with it. She's over there dancing. It's like walk it, like a talk it, walk it, walk it, like a talk it. <laughs> but yeah, dude. It. I mean, I I enjoyed the movie as a whole. I really enjoyed it just because of like its weirdness. Well, he's weird, and then the singer chick is fucked. She's got up. some issues because she's like, "Do you love me?" Yeah. hold me hit me yeah and he's I like i don't want to hit you and she kept on he was like she's like well i don't want to fuck then he said damn bitch well, yeah, now. Exactly. he laid the smack down on her dude and then he felt bad yeah. about it later he would yeah, like he wake fine. up he would like wake up in his sleep from dreams and be like he was like it was fucking him up 
Yeah, it was. And then he's trying to, he's like hanging out with this high school girl. Yeah. And it's like, just go for the fucking blue velvet chick, dude. Yeah, for real. She ain't got no husband anymore. Yeah, I mean, they cut his fucking ear off. Shit, he had a bullet in the head. Did you see the bullet hole? Yeah, I seen it. That, uh, the shot at the end, when he comes in, Frank, and he, yeah, at the very end, what do you say? He was dressed like a well-to-do man or something. He come out, you <laughs> yeah. dumb fuck. You should I have fuck the out. other radio. He's like, you blew it. <laughs> yeah, right. I know you're in the <laughs> back you room. Blew it. You blew it. My hands are tied now. You know. Went back there. He like keyed it up. He's like, you dumbass. You got about two seconds to live. Yeah. See, I thought like, he was gonna he, run out of the apartment right there, but no, he hung around. He wanted to kill Frank. Yeah, he did. Well, he loved that chick. He felt bad for her. Yeah, because he didn't want to be with her because she was a little too. She got some issues. Yeah, like big well, time. I'm, I can't imagine. I'd hang out that, with her. Well, yeah. I mean, I think we all would, but <laughs> <laughs> but I, her having her child kidnapped. Like really and husband, numbers. and they're like beating on them. Like she don't want to do what they say, so they're like, "Oh well, uh, here's an ear." He's like, "I can get you an ear by the end of the day." You know what I'm saying with an yeah, earring, right. <laughs> with an earring, <laughs> with three earrings. What'd y'all think about old Ben's earring? It was on that the middle of the ear. You know that little flap yeah. that covers the ear hole. Yeah, it was like right there. That, I was like, "What a weird place that, to put an earring." That's a lot uh, of cartilage that, right there, man. That would hurt. Yeah. You know what people are doing to their ears now? Getting them like tapered off like elves or something? No, no, no. It's worse than that. Mm. You know worse the than gauges? Part? Yeah. You know the biggest part of your ear? Uh, the lobe? Like, no, not the lobe, but the actual ear, like where it curves around and goes yeah, into your ear. The well, the ear well. People are having that removed. What? What's yeah. that called? Because I won't see it. It's called bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> I but thought it was I'm like before you're typing bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. So you can like fun. see through it. It makes their lobe like a big loop. I don't. I feel like no, it'd no, be no, cold. No. Oh my god! Here it is. Yeah, it's fucking weird, right? Why would you do that? His ear looks like a D ring. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. I'm sending Damn it. Me. You gotta Damn. see this. I don't see about everything. When I see somebody remove their damn <laughs> ear hole, yeah, dude, and it's not just a little piece. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Dude. Holy fuck, that's disgusting. Now here's my thing: if you got in a fight with me, I rip your goddamn ear off. Yeah, I put my finger in there, dude, and rip it off. Yeah. Why? Uh, I don't. I don't understand the fascination with. Like ear. body modification, well, I to guess that, that level, wouldn't that, fuck, yeah. wouldn't that fuck with your ability to hear? Uh, kind of because it goes in yeah. there and it bounces off and it goes in. Like you'd yeah. be hearing shit behind you. What? <laughs> I Sneak thought you were standing in front of me. Yeah, that's weird, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It's fucking stupid. You would never be that's able a, to wear uh, earbuds. <laughs> It's a hard no. You'd have to wear fucking earmuffs all yeah. the time. Over the ear. If I, if I saw somebody with that shit, I'd be like, are you fucking for real right I'd now? I'd have questions. Oh, for sure. I'd have so many questions. Wouldn't you be tempted to like put on a glove first, but then grab it, you know? You know I, don't, those, I don't want to touch it. You know, I bet it smells weird. You know those people, those like, um, those people in those tribes that put that disc in their lip? Yeah. Even they would look at that and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, why would you do this? Like, they have to uh, use sound to, like, keep from being eaten by tigers and shit and fucking lions. They're like, uh-uh, not in my fucking lifetime. Yeah, I need to be able to hear the lip, the, the leaves crunch around me. Yeah. If you had to have one body part removed, <sighs> like, a toe, completely, completely no, 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 detached. No. Nothing. Well, but like Frank, but you gotta which, pick something. Yeah, and he's like fucking uh, a toe because nobody can see it. The middle it? toe, my <laughs> bird toe. No, dude. 
I would. Uh, but you don't understand the game, Travis. You got to pick. But yeah. Frank has got to kill me. Well, You'd rather yeah. die than lose a toe? Shit, not me. You can take a toe? Shit, you can take two. You know I, mean? I ain't going to be in a bitch ass position to lose a fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> Travis, like contingency 88, motherfuckers. It's all. <laughs> <laughs> Like don't get don't don't corner me like I can't do that no I ain't fucking dying and I ain't fucking losing something like yeah. it's like those people that sew up their ear and leave like a little hole at the top yeah why just so like, people look at them like whoa you remember back you know same reason people get ear gauges same yeah turns heads the ear gauges thing isn't that extreme like whenever mm-hmm. you realize how big they are. Well, I watched I, I watched a documentary back in the day on Netflix. I don't know if it's still on there about body modifications. Mm-hmm. And I, after watching that documentary, I realized that ga- having your ear gauged isn't shit compared to like the hooks in your back. Yeah, like the, the suspension shit. Yeah, is weird. Oh man, that's uh, that's hard to watch too. For uh, me. When it, it looks yeah. like the skin is gonna rip off their body. Yeah. Well, like, have you seen those? Have you seen those? Uh, there's a few videos on youtube or at least i've seen one where this guy went and uh had like a computer thing and yes i've seen that I saw oh, that yeah and it can like they're eventually gonna have it to where it can do led shit through your skin yeah yeah fuck that like looks uncomfortable it's just, it's just cr- yeah really uncomfortable it well, looks that like thing under your like, arm and it itches you're like, just like this sucks or like if you raise up from your computer desk or something and your arm just gonna snags it you're like what oh what you know well, so i have this I don't know if it's actually like a thing, a fear of like a phobia or whatever, but I have this thing of like putting like inorganic pieces of things inside of your body. Yeah. So like I had this dream one time, this is going to get real fucking David Lynch as fuck, (laughs) but I had this dream one time where, uh, you know, you remember, um, running man. Yeah. Okay, so this was like, it was kind of like running band, but it was more fucked up. So uh, I was in a school, and there was like three or four of us. It was like me, some girl, and then a couple other people. Uh And uh, there was this person that was chasing us. And what it was was like a half human, like a half human, half machine hybrid, but it was a fucked up looking one, you know Uh what I mean? So the the goal was to get from point A to point B without this thing getting you. Because if this thing got you, it was going to like Game over. assimilate you into their – because the way the thing worked Turn you was into like – a Cyberman? No, well, no. What it would do was it would take parts of other people ah. and, and attach it to itself. It's kind of like Mimic. I think it was the name of that movie. With Donald Sutherland where they're on that ship and those um, – those computers come alive, like yeah. something happens and the computers come alive. Anyway, it's kind of like that. So what happened in the dream was me and this chick made it to the end. And there was a guy sitting there and the guy was like talking, you know, congratulations. But he's like, only one of you can fucking survive. And this fucking guy, this huge motherfucker walks up behind this chick and like these like cables and stuff come around her. And he just like tears her apart and absorbs mm-hmm. her body into his. Mm-hmm. And so I woke like, up. You're like, I'm a winner. <laughs> but well, I, like when that happens, I woke up and I was like, this is so fucking fun. cold sweat, writing it down. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is a, a movie. movie. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, like, so ever since I had that dream and that dream happened, like maybe high school, maybe right after high school, like anything where you put like a piece of technology, into your body it just freaks me out it's it's got to be some kind of phobia i don't know well it won't but, be long that's what we're working toward we're working toward i know but it's just it's elon it's musk the, said that we're already a hybrid because we have cell phones we just it's just not it's not in our body yet but right and we use it i mean it's just like another you know it's just part well, of you i think the biggest thing is the idea that that thing could be controlled mm-hmm. by someone else that could in turn control you with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like imagine getting fucking de- uh what do they call it where they fuck your shit up. Um the attacks that happen every now and then. DDoS. Oh, they DDoS yeah. your little 
your little plug or whatever. Well, what, what if they DDoS your fucking brain? Right, what OS happens if they just... EMP it? Oh, yeah. You're and dead. it's got all your memories and shit in it. Like, they yeah. format your hard drive. Yeah, fuck that, dude. Like, I don't... If I had to have a pacemaker or something like that, I could I could live with it. Like, I'm sure I could continue on. But, like, just can't voluntarily... hack a pacemaker. Well, yeah, that's true. But voluntarily putting a piece of technology into my body that I cannot that remove. That connects to the internet? Body, <laughs> yes. It just makes me so... China's like, yes, yes, put the chip in your body. Put it in. Yeah, huh? I'm like, uh-uh, yes. please don't. Yeah, that's how you get, like, fucked, fucked up. Yeah, at big time. It's, I don't know, man. I don't even know how we got to that. Your dream? Oh, body modification. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I I just don't, you know. Tattoos is one thing. Even having the 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 half balls put under your skin huh? to make like, yeah. Have you ever seen that? All those people that get those lumps and like that donut yeah. on their forehead. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what that forehead is about. Like, <laughs> it's a bullseye where you shoot the here a while back there was this big thing and like i don't remember which asian country it was but they were doing i think it was china and they were doing that in their forehead they put like a shit it looks like a flotation device like <laughs> you know what it i mean just busts forehead. and i don't and i don't know why like i don't get it dude for real and in the middle of it they're like don't press it because that's my soft spot yeah, <laughs> that's where the fucking matrix plug is gonna be, right in the middle of that donut. I take a chip. I don't. I don't know if I could do it, man. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm working on computers all the time. I'm googling shit. If I could just Google it in my head, man. Shit, yeah, man, make things a lot easier. Yeah, I, see, I don't. And I then, like, you could translate lot, languages. You could. Yeah. You could look anything See, up. Is, you could play music in your head. Thing, like This is the thing, Griff. Me and you, we would cower from the machine AI over. Dude, I'd be in line. Adam, <laughs> Adam Adam would fall in line and then come back later with wires hanging out, being like, Look, man, I can get you out of here. Like <laughs> I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like I'd jump out of there like whoa, 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 I'm like, whoa, It's me, whoa, it's me. Whoa, I'm just Lord. I'm just everything now. Yeah. Like I'm like, I'd be saying uh, weird shit like I can see through walls and I'm like, can you? How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> All of just them. the middle. It's just the middle finger. Yeah. <laughs> the perspiration on your forehead suggests you've ate spicy food, Travis. You should probably go to the doctor and get a shot for that cold <laughs> that's coming on. You're like, huh? What? Achoo, achoo. I can check oh, your temperature from across the room and your blood sugar your blood sugar's a little fucked up right now. Yeah. Eat a candy bar. <laughs> Did you eat some condoms? <laughs> Fuck that. See, in the future, I, they'll have that, man. And, like, instead of having drug stiffened dogs, they'll have, like, dudes standing in the airport, like, <laughs> yeah, I smell it. I've seen, uh, I've seen one documentary. It was, a uh, it was about a lot of futurists and all their ideas and shit. And I think one of them is a toilet that is computerized where when you use the bathroom, it keeps track of your stool and urine samples. For early mm -hmm. uh, diagnosis of diseases and stuff, that's kind of cool. I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'd be cool. Like with that. colon cancel, ca cancel, colon cancel. We want to colon cancel that. Um, but yeah, like uh, I mean, hell, even kidney stones. If you think about it, like stuff like that, you know. Yeah. The next time I have to, the someone's like, "What happened to so and so?" I'm like, "Oh, he got colon cancer, and he he was colon canceled." You know <laughs> Jesus, they're like, really? That's a thing. You're like, yep. yep. Six seasons in. He was yeah. 60. He was totally canceled. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, man. If that's not referenced at my funeral, like if I die first and y'all are not telling people, it's like, oh, he he made it, you know, 60 and a half seasons. They're like, yeah. what? 16 10 years seasons. is a season. That's 10 yeah. episodes. Like, yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like, Griffin was the dopest motherfucker I ever knew. One time he I heard somebody God, say this. Someone he wouldn't put that goddamn thing in his body. He'd still be here. One time, like a <laughs> bill collector called or something, and they asked for like, "I need to speak to so and so," and they went, "She's expired," and hung up what? on him. And I was like, "Oh, that's a weird thing to say." Like, yeah, she's real. expired. Yeah, 
that's like a strange. loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what a way to fucking Yeah, she's expired. That's weird. <laughs> but not as weird as this fucking movie was, though. It's probably one of his weirdest. They're all pretty weird, but I, I it's not on par at all with Lost Highway. Yeah, that one's like <laughs> that's weird as fuck. And then that Mulholland yeah. Drive is pretty weird. I haven't watched that one yet. This dude's in that one too, right? Fucking um, Twin Peak. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's, he's in like it. all of them. He's really in this movie. <laughs> on a real note, not really a good actor. No, I mean he's there's some he exquisite has, acting scenes. He has potential, but I think that a lot of that has to do with direction, the directing style. Yeah, yeah. because. Um, this is what I told Adam last night, Trav, and let's see if you agree with me. Does this yeah. town not feel like something that was in uh, Fallout, like one of the Fallout games, and Frank somehow lived and he's running shit? <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be awesome. He's like a walking dead villain. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, he's my God. What if they could... And- dude... What if when Negan rolled in, they're like, we got to go meet Negan. And they go in there and he's like, I'll fuck anything that moves. And he's like, skull fucking a zombie head. You know? Tweeter. (laughs) Tweeter. You can look me up on Twitter. On Twitter. Did you give him your phone number? Are you going to go see him later tonight? No. Marina said she was getting hit on. I figured she's going to go meet him. By who? The Taco Bell guy. Mm, Hell, go do shit. it. Maybe hit we'll that up. Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah. That's what Adam said. Hit, hit that, that up. up. What that smell like? <laughs> yeah. We need to get smell like inside. quesaritos. <laughs> Adam said, what that smell some like? Some nacho he hands. Said, he said it smells like quesaritos. Twitter. <laughs> you can look me up on Twitter. Um... Yeah, Lost Highway. It's going to be hard. It's almost hard for any movie to ever be able to top. I don't think I've seen Lost Highway. Yeah, that's a movie where the guy's like, call your house. Oh, I have. She's like, yeah. Yeah, that's Uh, all you got to fucking say. Robert Blake. Yeah. The guy that shot his wife. Yeah. And then went to jail for it. Uh, He's like, call your house. He calls. It's like some old ass. He's like, now give me back my fucking phone. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Robert Blake's but, uh, weird. He's like a yeah. vampire, right? I don't know what the fuck. He's supposed he to be is. a vampire in that movie. That's why he's all pale and dressed in black. And We need to watch. Well, Bill Pullman's in that, right? Yeah, I think. I don't yeah. remember. It's been a long time. Well, I mean, we've obviously got to do it for the pod. Maybe, you some, know? maybe like the last time I saw that was like 2006 or something. Me, whenever uh, me and Alina weird. lived together. We watched it on a regular basis. <laughs> One of those movies? I, I, don't, I guess. I don't know why. My we uncle loves it. Blue Velvet. He's like, that was his movie. And I'm like, I'm, he just likes to put I, it on because it's so weird. Yeah. But I think what it is is he's just laughing at Frank the whole time. Like, Yeah. Well, after you get over the shock of everything, of what's going on, he is fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. For real. Well, guys, I've got to do an early dip, so I'm going to go ahead and give my rating. Wow. Get it. Uh, I give it a half star. Ooh, a hearty uh, half star. It yeah, it's it's a weird movie. Uh, it's worth watching once. Um, but it just it's not it's not the level of weird I'm 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 normally into. It's not Twitter. <laughs> I understand. If that makes any sense whatsoever. But no, it's one of those it's one of those that as your library expands, it's definitely a shelf sitter for yeah. your for your But is it one of those movies yeah. like you're hanging out with somebody and you're like, You ever seen this one? And y'all watch it just to like laugh at Frank? Uh there would be a lot there would need to be a lot of conversations before I bring <laughs> this movie up. Yeah. <laughs> to them. You got it's a point. One of those for sure. What would be um, the what would be the link to get from point A to point Blue Velvet? Twitter. Uh we'd have to do some shortcuts for sure. Um I'd have to throw out 
Well, I don't know, but I would have to answer that question with another question. Do you show Blue Velvet before or after Naked Lunch? Shit, dude. But uh, before, yeah. I mean, do you Definitely. go do you go Cronenberg then Lynch or then Lynch then Cronenberg? No, you go Lynch first because it gets out there, but it comes back to reality. Once uh, Cronenberg gets Naked Lunch in particular gets out there, there's no once fucking it, yeah. coming back. Yeah, once that movie takes lift off, it's you're gone. Yeah. But yeah, man, I give it a half star. Um, so. Beater. <laughs> Shit. But uh, if I uh, if I don't if I don't talk to you again or if I don't hop back on, man, uh, you know, I will see you at the wedding, Sir Griffin. Yes, sir. I will be there. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I, well, I mean, I, you better well, I mean, be there. If, right. uh, Somebody's getting be married. There. Better not be that asshole hitting on your Kool-Aid, man. Oh, it'd be all right. The I Taco know. Bell guy standing there in his Taco yeah. Bell uniform. Come on, what's this guy doing here? They're like, we're going to serve I, Taco uh, Bell at the end, at the reception. <clears throat> Mike Cole. But I will, uh, I will holler at you guys later. And, uh, all right, man. See you guys. All right, see you, man. Twitter. Well, I mean, Trav rated it, so. I'm going to give it a full star. Really? I mean, dude. Yeah. It ain't that bad. I think his performance deserves the full star. Yeah, and the scenes, some of the scenes. Yeah. The candy-colored clown scene Yeah. alone gets a star. Because it's, it's just such a strange-ass moment, man. Like, yeah, they go in this house. It's already weird. As soon as yeah. they come in, it's just strange. Ben gets up. He's got one of those cigarettes on that long thing. Yeah, one of those hundred Yeah, a couple of things. glasses for a gas. Yeah. You know, he's real. You were one of suave motherfucker, man. Yeah, you know I think that? fucking Frank wanted to fuck him. Like, what did he put in that Frank's mouth? Some kind of pill. You think it was like a fucking... I was like, is that acid? What's he fixing to take? I think they were dropping the hint, though, that Ben was on heroin because he would, like, nod out. Yeah. He's like right. nodding off while he was standing up, which is like, I mean, that's classic Harry. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. He was nodding out right there. And then when he drank the beer, he was just like, oh. Yeah. That, it got, it got, that scene alone was so, like, that's what I said. If you redid Blue Velvet today, or if I did it, I would take that scene in particular as a jumping off point. And just take it as fucking crazy as I could, as the as far as the studio would let me take. It. Do you keep the whole? I mean, dude, he picked up a shop light. Oh yeah, and the lights were down in the room, and he put it up to his face, and he's like pale as fuck. Yeah, you tell he, he had, had a powder on his. Yeah, you yeah. could tell. And he put that light in his face, and you could tell he listened to that song a bunch because he was on key, man. He was on point, like. Oh yeah. And I was when the first time I saw that, I was that. I was sold on that alone. Yeah. I was just, I just couldn't quit thinking about that scene. I was like, what a cool scene. Like, yeah. How you even think of that? David Lynch, man. I He's mean, like, I my, read it on Twitter. I think that David Lynch, like, like you were saying earlier, real hit and miss. I think the oddity of some of the things that he done, because realistically he was kind of a pioneer of odd cinema, mm -hmm. you know? Of like out of the norm, out of the norm, you know, and it's not out of the norm as in horror or sci-fi. It's just out of the norm as in regular ass. You know what I mean? So, I think that's why people praise him so much is because he was the first one that kind of took the the. Oh no 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 no! But between Say like reality, again. he got I cut off. That, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I think he's one of the first ones that took the leap, leap that kind of like blurred the lines of like reality and like stranger than fiction, so strange that it could possibly be true. You know what I mean? Especially in this movie in particular, because this movie shows you like this could really happen. You see stuff like this all the time. Kids get kidnapped. The people that have them are fucking insane. You know, they're just crazy people. 
So I think that's why it got that's why people so much like him so much, I think. But I mean, like I said, he's hit and miss for me. Like not everything he touched was gold, but But I'll give it a full star as well. I I really enjoyed it. Like I would buy it on Blu-ray if I could. Oh yeah. Or if they had like a David Lynch box set. Oh, I'm sure they do. I would buy the shit out of that. Like, what are you putting in the David Lynch box set? Um, this one. How many mm-hmm. is going to be in there? Four. Let's say six. God, dude, I don't even know that many movies. Well, you got to have Lost Highway, Mulholland Drive, yeah, Blue Velvet. Yeah. I don't think they put Dune in there. No. I know they don't. <laughs> I got to go um, look at his movie list. I don't even know. Elephant Man. Oh, yeah, that's in there. That's like number one. And then um, wasn't there another one that was super fucking weird? Um, Polly wore a red shirt. That was a music video. I know. Uh, you can't put Twin Peaks in there. It's too long. He did a lot of fucking music videos, so a lot of music videos. Did he? Yeah, dude. A lot of music videos. Like Marilyn Manson, he did some of his stuff. He did um, Moby, um, Nine Inch Nails, Duran Duran. He's done a lot of fucking music stuff. Which, I mean, makes sense because most music videos are fucking super weird. So... I guess we'd just have to keep it at the five, unless we put Twin Peaks in there. As a, it's too long. I know. I'm trying to look at his. Oh, you put a racer head in there. Oh yeah, that's one that's real big. Like a lot of people come up on that. Yeah. Racerhead, Elephant Man, Blue Velvet, Lost Highway, Mulholland Drive. I'd buy it. I bet Elephant Man looks amazing on Blu-ray. Yeah. Eraserhead, Elephant Man, Mulholland Drive, Lost Highway, Blue Velvet. Gotta the be. box, yeah, the box that worth having right there. All of them. Yeah. I don't know. All I'm looking at his stuff here and see Mulholland Drive is a made for TV movie. Yeah, I saw that, and like a year later, they released it on in theaters, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, did they? Yeah, because right here it says Mulholland Drive, 1999 TV movie, and then tw- 2001 Mulholland Drive. But it's the same people in it. So did he re? Did he direct it twice? Surely they just put the same one in there. Right? I would think so. I don't know. Was that like an HBO movie? That I'm not sure. It could be. But, you know, he got, you know, Queen Wait, Peach there from- is two of them. Yeah, I know. So I don't in know. In two thousand and one, it this one doesn't say TV movie. Yeah, I guess he did a TV series. Oh well, they oh, the original. They got the same actors in them and everything. The TV, the TV movie is eighty eight minutes long. The the movie movie. Is 147. Oh, yeah. They went back and added to it then. Yeah. That's weird. I 
I wonder, what if they released the first half of it on on TV? It premiered on the USA. Oh, no, no, no. That's not right. It premiered in, in the USA in 1999. Wait, it says here the plot keywords is television pilot, unsold TV series pilot. Hmm. All right, this is this is for the TV movie. This is the original TV pilot version of Mulholland Drive, which was re rejected by ABC and failed to become a series. The existing pilot was reworked with new footage to create the feature film two years later. Huh. Says that David Lynch considers this version of the project to be embarrassing and has not released it to the public. However, a VHS screener copy from the time of its production did find its way online. Yeah, I was just imagining that they took the made-for-TV movie and then they just added to it. Yeah. Like they used all of that and then they just shot more scenes to go with it. I think that's like the biggest thing you did though, right? I mean, a lot of people watch that Mulholland Drive movie. Let's see. Well, Dune had a bigger budget. Yeah. But um, they spent $15 million on it, and worldwide it made 20 He's not got a good track record for making money, dude. No. I think that's why he doesn't do a lot of movies Well, nowadays. I think he can't get them. Yeah. The big ones? I don't think so. Like, who's going to offer him, you know? Yeah. And if they did, it would just be just because of who he is. The name. Yeah. I don't know, though, man. Times have changed. People may watch it. They'll go, well, oh, shit, David Lynch, you know. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, I'm going to look at Elephant Man and Eraserhead and, and Blue See, Velvet. I would think that is this the same Elephant Man? I've never, I don't even think I've seen that one. I have. It's got. He spent uh, five million Hopkins. on that, and it made twenty six. He made twenty million off of it. So. No, and that came out right before. Um, he raised her head. Dune. Oh no, it came out right before. Dune. It was first, right? Yeah. He spent twenty thousand on a racer head and made seven million off of it. That was it. his clerks. Yeah. Kinda. Is that a good movie? Eraserhead? Yeah. It's fucking Is it weird? weird. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Like weirder than this movie? Yeah. Like it's, a different kind of weird. It's a different kind of weird. I'm man. flipping through the screenshots and it looks It trippy. looks strange, right? Yeah. Nice hairdo. Like this girl and her face is all swelled up. Yeah. It's a cult classic. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's see. Blue Velvet. The, the budget was $6 million and it grossed $8 million. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Then. We already looked at my haunt. Where's fucking uh, Austin? Well, one of them made twenty million. That's yeah, that's pretty good. Lost Highway. Uh, oh. the budget. Holy shit! Wild For at Lost. heart. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It's got Willem Dafoe. Oh, I love Nicholas Cage world. and Laura Dern. Shit. Chris Glover. He spent nine million on it. He got fourteen. Yeah. Never what heard of this called? movie. Wild, Wild at Heart. Heart. It's a comedy crime drama. Nineteen ninety. It's got a seven point two out of ten. 
Let's see, I found the trailer. Yeah. You want to watch it? I do. Is it going to be like Tiptoes? <laughs> Dwarf. Willem Dafoe's got some fucked up teeth in this movie. Shit, he's always got some fucked up teeth. You ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, play. I thought it was just going to be that picture the whole time. Classic Lynch. It's crazy. She got her comeuppance in Lynch films. Her father was a famous actor. Yeah. There's that guy. Yeah. In the middle. Like he said, my name's Paul. The guy from Moholland Drive, the black dude. Yeah. And then oh, what's his name? Shit, I'm gonna watch it. See that fake nose? <laughs> yeah, I told you he has some fucked up teeth. Harry Dean yeah, Stanhope. I was gonna say that's that dude. That's dude from uh, Blue Velvet. I mean, chick. Yeah. She's like, she overacts. Hotter than Georgia asphalt. Yeah, let's go back to the room. <laughs> yeah, you got me hotter than Georgia asphalt. I don't, it, it reminds me of like true romance or something. Yeah, right. Uh, what was that what other one? Um, uh, Natural Born Killers. Yeah. How crazy was that fucking movie? Well, see, her father is Bruce uh-huh. Stern. You know who that is? Oh, yeah. Boy's got sand. Yeah. That's her he, father. He's so fucking good. Yeah. I love Bruce Stern. And then he man. also played in Hate Flayed. He was an old man. Yeah. He said, you you know my boy? <laughs> yeah. He goes, I mean, I knew him. I met him. Time yeah. or two. He said, he got I, real, my- I know him real good. <laughs> yeah. He said, I put my big black dingus in his mouth, and it was warm and full of blood. So they have a wild at heart renegade cut. I mean, if we watch one, that's obviously got to be it. Is that just another word for a director's cut? Probably. Or the studio did the cut. You ever seen this movie with Christian Bell called Harsh Times? Christian Bell? It looks like Christian Bell. Yeah, Christian Bell. Called Harsh what, Times. What year? Is it like a newer? 2006. Hmm. It's that free to like... watch on YouTube with ads. It just popped oh, really? up. There's a bunch of those. There's so many fucking kid movies on there. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Ooh, well, they're box to... office. It made five, almost six million. Ooh, budget was only two million though. So, yeah, it's made its money. Ah, Christian Bell plays a Gulf War veteran. Ooh, you know, who believes that his. He believes it is his sworn duty to protect Americans by policing the streets of Los Angeles. What? That's what it says. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Um, so, uh, what did you think about that second episode of Doom? Uh, I th- you know, it, it, we've seen this story. 
Yeah. Obviously, but they do explain it a little bit better. Right. They okay. kind of lay it out a little more for you. You're like, okay. Yeah. It makes and the, sense. the girlfriend. Yeah. You know, she's more like in the other movie. It's like, who's that? You don't even know. I mean, you know, you don't know nothing about who's her. But in this one, she's, yeah. yeah. In this one, she's a yeah. little more. The contacts are a little cheesy. Yeah. I can see their pupil behind their pupil. Yeah. You know right. Um, But it does explain more. And then seeing uh, Spanky Greenwall floating <laughs> with his big old fat yeah. legs. <laughs> oh my god dude sweating he had like a he had like a bondage suit on at yeah. one point i was like what the fuck is this guy got going on you know i don't know but it does it it explains it a lot better well let me ask you this <laughs> that rat this is like, that rat that they cgi'd was super <laughs> cheesy yeah it was it was um I, so we haven't got there yet but at the end of this episode, his mom drinks from the water of life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which which turns her eyes blue, and she basically absorbs the knowledge and the memories and all the shit. Of that of the, old woman? The elder. Yeah, the elder woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she did, the, she did that with a child in her mm -hmm. and survived it. So why the fuck would they doubt that he wouldn't be able to do that? Oh, you know because the guy's never done it. It's always been a woman. Yeah, but still, though, like. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> of course. Well, the, but a, a woman. Of course, he can do it. He can do it better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like, you know. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean? Like, I she, was able, she was able to do it with a kid in her belly, which nobody, like the way they were talking, nobody has ever been able to do it's that. It's dangerous. Yeah. Cool how so, they show you how they get the water. Yeah, that was The awesome. other one, we didn't see that. Well, they were like breeding. They were the ones breeding the, the sandworm, mm -hmm. kind of. And like they said that whenever the sandworm gets so big, it turns into Shia Lude, and that's what's, you know, roaming around out in the damn desert and shit. Mm -hmm. I like how, this is one thing I did like. I like how he didn't come in and was immediately a badass and was like taking over. You know what I mean? No, he was. he's like almost scared. Yeah, and he had to learn the ways, mm -hmm. you know. He, he's it shows him becoming a man, and I like that guy, the whoever that guy is that's like the leader of all that shit. I like him a Blue lot. Eyes. Yeah, yeah, the guy that was sitting next to him while she was drinking the water. Yeah, yeah, I like that guy. Yeah, it's good. The only thing that would hurt it, maybe for some people, it doesn't hurt it for me. I enjoyed it. it sucked me right in, you know. Yeah. I was like, okay, okay. Oh, okay. You know, because they were explaining it. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. <laughs> right. Finally. And there's not you know. a lot of chuffa, really. Like, every scene is part yeah. of the story. Yeah. Um. Who's the... So, he meets the chick. He's going to hook up with her. I can't remember what I was going to say a second ago. Yeah. Damn it. They change his name. They keep going off on these campaigns because they're taking those guys out, mm -hmm. and the that that's one thing that was different. Where like you see more of the master plan here, where like he's gonna give the dude's brother the power over uh, Dune Arrakis, and he's fucking it up. So he's like, I've just let him fuck it up for you. Mm -hmm. Like he tells him that at one point, young so buck, we, yeah. The Stain character, yeah. that's what I call him. How weird was that scene where, like, she comes in there and, like, rubs that lotion? I, I was like, it. this is a little over the top. <laughs> For sci-fi, though, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to say. For some people, yeah. the CGI fucked this movie up. Yeah. That's what would get them. They'd be like, looks bad. It's like, yeah, but just follow the story. Because it's like, it's almost like you like, you know, watching a shitty yeah. Game of Thrones or something like Cause it's yeah, laid out but, TV style, like yeah, a lot of talking. Yeah. Well, um, what about those backdrops? Gotta, I know you could tell. You know, you can tell it's a picture. That's what I. That's why I was saying, like, it looks like a play. Yeah, at the end, trying, dude, dude. Yeah. You just took the words. I was, I was waiting. I was sitting here watching it earlier, and when he walks out at the end, and everybody's there, and then they disappear, and they come back, I was like, this looks yeah. like a fucking play. Yeah, it does. The way it's shot. Yeah, man. Especially with those backdrops, the real sets. 
Yeah. They have like a little bit of sand and then they'll have all these sand dunes. Yeah. Like on the wall behind them. Yeah. Just like a That's, play. I would, if this was a play, like if it oh, was like cool a tour, to watch. I would love to go see this as a play. Like the only thing, which they could do it, but the only thing that they would have problems with would sandworm. be the sandworm. Yeah. What they the could do is shit. put them on a screen in the back. Like uh, the back oh, wall yeah. would be a screen. Yeah. And you could have them on that. Like we you could have them it. come up out of the sand. Here's what I'm thinking, though. Go one step further. Musical. Oh, my God. Dune the musical? Dude. Yeah. You get the guys really. You get the guys at the Book of Mormon? Oh, my God. Let them ride it? Yeah. Dune the musical. Yeah. Everybody has. <laughs> I'm tired of all these fucking sandworms, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But um, I I liked it though. Like that would I be liked, a good play, man. It really would. Like I would definitely go see something like that. You can see by watching this, you it's already you're watching the play version. Yeah, yeah, right. But they're making the a, another feature length that's going to have Jason Momoa in. It, so I'm interested to see how that's going to go. Mm-hmm. But they're going to have to. It's going to have to be two and a half hours. They'll probably try to break it down so they get a couple of them. Yeah, I, I could see that. Well, there's enough content to make multiples because you have Dune, Children of Dune, then you have all the prequel yeah, stuff. You could do a trilogy. Yeah, no problem. Easy. Yeah, just like what we're what we've been watching. Yeah, and I would watch it. I mean, I think the story of Dune, like especially this take on it, like I said, him showing up and not being a badass right out of mm-hmm. the gate really, really added to his character to me. Yeah. You know. And him you, not being like you watch him is, grow, yeah, watch him become a man. With that yeah. spice, tastes like cinnamon. Yeah, right. Yeah, I like it probably man. is cinnamon. That they're it's yeah. probably what they're using. I mean, Would you, you like know. to take the spice challenge? Where you well, and, <laughs> take a spoonful of spice and almost choke to death? Yeah, right. <laughs> like sure, why not? You know, um, I was gonna say something, but I lost. Shit, what was it? Um, we we're talking about becoming a man. You grow with him. Yeah, yeah. I liked, I liked all that stuff. I liked uh, it. Explored his relationships more. Um, the stuff with the mom was cool, and mm-hmm. that's another thing. Like they travel from where they meet to this city. You don't really see them go to this city in the movie. They're mm-hmm. just kind of fucking hanging out in the desert somewhere. They you know pop what I mean? in. Yeah, they just pop in and pop out. Like, them fucking all this stuff up and, like, taking these guys down, that, I don't know, everything about it has been... Way better. Yeah. It's better than the movie. Yeah, and it's 2000 on sci-fi. So don't get your expectations all high because it is got some cringy acting. It does have some, you know, goofy effects and stuff. But at the end of the day, good story. Yeah. Precursor story. You know what I mean? Well, now I understand the movie. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. You should have to watch this movie before you watch the other one. Just so you know what's going on. Yeah. Let's see. Dune, the novel, came out in 1965. Wow. And then he wrote five sequels. Dune Messiah, Children of Dune, God Emperor of Dune, Heretics of Dune. And Chapter House Dune. First novel also inspired adaptation by David Lynn. Um, so the it says here that the um, the new movie is scheduled to release on November the twentieth of twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I think that that movie is going to be good. I think it will. What's well, the guy that did that new Blade Runner, right? Uh, I think, I think so. so. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be good, dude. Yeah. yeah, he did a good job on that Blade Runner. Yeah, he did Blade Runner, Arrival, Sicario, Prisoners. I really like Prison. Mm-hmm. I like that movie a lot. Is that the one with Wolverine <laughs> in it? Yeah, Were yeah, that was that? a good movie. Yeah, and it's a movie that you've seen. 
Yeah, but they just. But did he a, did a better job. Yeah. It's got Jake Gyllenhaal. I almost bought this movie on Black Friday. I wish I would have, because it's really good. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's I, I'm excited to see the 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 uh, conclusion of it, like mm-hmm. him drinking the shit, and then them rolling up and taking, you know, taking the the ta- the city back over, and then. I'm guessing he floods it or it starts raining or whatever the fuck happened. <clears throat> but I'm cool with it. Yeah. One more episode. Yep. One more for show. So is there any uh, movie news or anything Travis like that? Travis had some, on? but I didn't. I don't know <clears throat> yeah. what he's talking about. I, I know what Travis was talking about. What? Captain Marvel? No. So... Um, let me see if I can find it here. So Zack Snyder did a AMA uh-huh. on something on Reddit. <clears throat> let me see if I can find it because he sent the link to it. He said he had a Q and A this past weekend, and someone asked him his dream for Justice League, Justice League Two. This is what that's what Travis said. Uh-huh. So this is what he said. Um. Dark side murder Steppenwolf for for healing Superman. <clears throat> Dark side defeats the league with ease. Aquaman is killed. Dark side boom tubes into the Batcave and murders Lois, causing Superman to succumb to the anti life equation. Wonder Woman is killed trying to protect protect Lois Lane. The surviving league members now exist in the nightmare timeline. Flash Batman and a half and a torn in half cyborg work together to send the flash back in time and alter the past. That was his idea of the second justice league movie. Uh I mean, I mean, if they would have done that, it would have flipped everything on its head. You know what I mean? Because you're going to kill Aquaman, which would have been a perfect thing to happen because that Aquaman movie just came out. It did really well. Uh Uh-huh. You kill Aquaman. Everybody would have been like, what? Yeah, and not only that, Wonder Woman came out. Everybody seemed to love that fucking shit stain of a movie. Kill her off. She's dead too. And uh, Superman goes crazy. Like, you know, all the, you know, all the, uh, the nightmare scenes from Batman versus Superman uh-huh. would have came to reality. And they could, you know, thinking about it and in that idea, which of course I'm, I'm sure we'll hit more uh, up about it. You know, the next time we're on here with Travis, but you know, all the flaws that justice league had would have been fixed with the trilogy. Because the thing that I didn't like about justice league the most was them bringing, um, Superman back to life the way they did, you know, but if they're going to use time travel as kind of the crutch to the series that works, they could have, yeah, they could have went back far enough to fix it and then had the movie play out the way it needed to. They fuck like Warner brothers fucked it up, man. Uh I mean, they really did. They fucked it up so bad. Well, it's their own damn fault. Well, I still hope that they have a um, Snyder cut. Nah, they won't ever drop it. You don't think they will? Nah, man. Yeah, I don't know. A man can wish. A girl can wish. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, for real. A girl (laughs) can wish. (laughs) Because that would be so fucking crazy. And so badass. But what can you do? Well, it'd be cool if he would at least release like a script or something. I know. So you could at least read it. Yeah. Put out a graphic novel. Yeah. So you can actually, which they, that would be awesome if they took his scripts and adapted it kind of like oh. um, what Kevin Smith did with uh, Clark's Three. Yeah, well, and with all those scripts that he wrote for uh, Green Hornet and Daredevil and, oh, yeah. you know, all that. 
So, um, have you seen the uh, the uh, runtime of the next Avengers movie? Uh uh-uh. uh It's gonna be over three hours long. Oh my god! Um, five hours ago, they dropped a. Uh, it's called Avengers Four Endgame. One last surprise trailer. Yeah. You see it? I haven't seen it now. And they also dropped a a new um, first look at that Avatar movie. No shit. Yeah. Okay, let's fucking cue well, it Well, no, that Avatar trailer's old. Oh, it is? But it's it's a first look, but it's old. Right. First comment says, what does it say? Avatar would have made one hell of an open world RPG. You got that right. <laughs> For real. But I'm down to watch this end game. Yeah, it's the one that dropped five hours ago. Yeah, I posted it right here. All right, let me pull it up. Wait. All right, Tony starts up first. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, play. not really a trailer that was depressing that again i'm uh i'm excited about it dude i can't wait to see what they do how it's gonna go and all that good stuff um i'm gonna try to go watch captain marvel next week sometime travis has seen it right i don't i don't think they went and watched it oh no. I was say y'all can do y'all's take on it. Yeah. Well, I won't be watching that until it comes out. Right. Well, the only reason that I want to watch it is because of, um, Might you have know, some lead in. Yeah. Well, they did the same thing with, you know, Black Panther. They're like, oh, you got to see Black Panther before Infinity War comes out. When in reality, I mean, you grew, you didn't have to. Yeah. You know, like the last few minutes. Yeah. Which wasn't really a big deal. But, um, I still want to see it because I keep seeing a lot of mixed reactions, man. Like people are loving it and people are hating it. It's it's a 50-50 toss up. So I mean, I just want to see it to get my own. I'm going to go in with no bias and just try to enjoy it for what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like the character and everything. I'm cool with it. I'm, I'm cool. With, to oh, see what, what happens? Yeah. Uh, we haven't talked about the fucking Once Upon a Time in Hollywood trailer. The teaser. Oh my god. How good is this movie gonna be? Yeah, I saw a thing the other day when they were like they were like fucking 
uh, what's his name? Who's the two? Brad Pitt and yeah, DiCaprio, DiCaprio. in the movie together. Yeah. This never happened. No. They never been in a movie together. It's gonna be too good, dude. It's gonna be real good. I cannot wait. And that comes out pretty soon, right? Uh, June, I think. Ain't that far? I'll go to the theater to watch that. I know, right? June. Uh, there's a lot of good movies coming. I mean, we've got Avengers Endgame kick, kind of kicking it off for us, and then when's that come out? April. It, yeah, it comes out like April the thirteenth. We all something. need to go watch that, and that's the episode. I'm down. Whenever we can all go see it. Yeah. And then we'll do an episode where we just talk. Because, I mean, that's going to take, it'll be like six hour podcast. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. It's not the last one, is it? Uh, we don't know. This is supposed to be what's wrapping up the last Everything's years. Everything's been building towards this. Yeah. Like everything was building towards Infinity War, and Infinity War ended the way it did. So this is, this is going to like make or break it. Who's really alive? Who's wow. going to survive? Check it? this out, dude. What if at the end. They do some time stone shit. Iron Man wakes up laying out there in the desert. Oh, shit. And it all starts over. Oh, my God. They're in a loop. It's complete. Well, it could be different this time. Yeah, it could. Things don't have to play out like they did, but close to it. Yeah. And, like, he's the only one that remembers everything. Hey, that would... maybe that's already happened. Yeah. Because he seems like he's got some knowledge. Yeah, he, he's and then got some. Doctor Strange is like you're the only like you have to, you know. Yeah, you you're have involved. to be one. Yeah, it's all built around you. I can't wait until that next Doctor Strange movie. They're making another one. Oh yeah, yeah, that first one was real good. I know, man. I, it, and I'm excited, gonna fight? dude. That he could be fighting the fucking air, and I would be happy with the way his character is. Yeah. Um, Spider Man comes out this year too, and I'm excited about that. Now, is this a uh, Marvel Spider Man? Yeah, this is the uh, be their last one. Uh, well, maybe we don't know for sure yet because he's only got like a five picture deal mm -hmm. Civil War, Endgame, Infinity War, um, you know, the first Spider Man movie and this one. So I don't know if they're going to renew the contract or not, but they'd be stupid not to. But this Spider-Man movie is a uh, is going to be a prequel. So oh shit, yeah, it's going to be like um, it takes place before Infinity War happened. Before Spider-Man disappears. Yeah, that's why mm. people were bitching about it online. Like, how can you release a trailer for a fucking Spider-Man movie? We don't even know if he makes it. You know, like all this shit. It's like, well, it was before that happened. Yeah, that's like how they said. They said at the beginning of the movie, it's going to pick up right after the uh, end game stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to show like some some more shit that had to do with that. But the um, then it goes back. Then it goes back in time to before he before Thanos shows up and all that other shit happens. Yeah. What if the Which reason is, for that is there is some time because there's time travel here. Oh, that'd be crazy. And they reset it back to before Thanos shows up. That's why you got a, that Spider-Man movie. Yeah, I could see that. That'd be cool. They're going to do something big. I mean, to be honest, I'm down for anything. Whatever. Yeah, like they've got me, yeah. you know? They've they already got, got me your sold, money, dude. Sold American, yeah. If it's good, they might get it two times, you know? Yeah. I, and, I a DVD, really and a Blu-ray buy. I really wanted to go see Infinity War twice. I just never had the time or the money. At the, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's my... I, will, I really did want to go see that twice. Because I, I loved it. I thought it was fucking insane that they were able to pull that shit off the way they did. They've done a really good job. Yeah, they have. No complaints. DC needs to take a fucking... Take the back seat. Take a let notice. The, let yeah. the directors direct. Yeah. They need a showrunner. Yeah, they do. But now, like, Jeff Johns, from what I understand, is supposed to be the Kevin Feige of the DC Universe, but um, I, he didn't start doing that until after Justice League. So it's already fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. you know? But what do we know? 
Well, let me see if there's anything on the news sites real quick. Well, his name's put weird. Foggy? No, Jeff Johns. Oh, it's yeah. G E O F O. Come on, dude. Yeah. Change it, you know? Uh oh, right here, dude. Is Ridley Scott working on an Alien Covenant sequel for Disney? Oh, maybe that's why they held off. It says, I think it's safe to say by this point in time that there aren't many people out there that loved Ridley Scott's Alien prequel, Alien Covenant. I did. I did too. Um, that said, I'd still be down for more romps in the Alien Hay with Cinema Master Ridley Scott. So today's news has me grinning ear to ear as we're hearing that Scott may be working on a Alien Awakening. This spark mm. hope comes to us from a recent from a recent article that says this. Ridley Scott, Scott Free seems also a good bet to stay following the merger between 20th Century Fox and Disney. Beyond the next Aliens installment that he's working on, Scott is expected to, to next direct Merlin, a live-action movie on the formative years of The Wizard for Disney. I mean, that merger, it's, it's, it's a done deal. So oh, they got it. Yeah, I don't know if it's happened yet. They got but, it. Though. Yeah, it's it's happened. It's in the hole. Yeah. It's a, but uh, uh oh, here we go. First Dune behind the scenes photo has no. Josh Brolin in a fighting mood. Shit, let's see that. That Dune's yeah. gonna be good, man. Yeah, it is. I mean, can you I imagine that, that movie with a budget? I know, right? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Being directed by Dennis Villanueva and sharing his excitement. I wonder who he's going to play. Josh Brolin will be playing the part of Gurney. Oh. So that was Patrick Stewart and yeah. That, that's awesome. So he's the trainer. Yes. I think weird it's gonna name, be good. Gurney. Yeah. Put him on the gurney. <laughs> well, what about Idaho? Harvey Bardem's in it. I'm dude, no. if oh my God. Is he? Yeah, Dune reboot cast Harvey Bardem. Dude, if he plays like the Baron or something. Oh my god. Holy shit. He's like he's like Don't put the spice in that pocket. You'll mix it uh, in with all the other spice, and it's just regular spice. Javier Bardem is playing Stilgar. I don't know who that is. Stilgar is... Uh, I recognize the name. Oh, he is the... Um, he is the guy that... Um, that was sitting next to dude. Stilgar. Uh, leader of the free world. Yeah. Or leader of the Shatek Tabar, a Freeman tribe. So he's, yeah. The guy you said you liked earlier. Yeah. There's his that picture part. right there. Yeah. Damn, I was hoping he'd play a villain. I know, right? He's a good villain, man. The The Baron is going to be Stellan Skarsgård. Damn. How many scars? How many scars guards do we have? A fucking enough. Zendaya is playing Shawnee. Wait, Jason Momoa is playing Duncan Idaho, and Oscar Isaac is playing um, Duke Leto Atreides. Well, who's playing Paul? Right here, Timothy Sham Chamalet Chalamet. Go look at him. He was in Lady Bird, He's Interstellar. Yeah. Oh my God, he was Tom at 15 years old in Interstellar. Yeah. Let's see, he was in. He played the lead kid in. Oh, that is the right move. Never mind. Yeah, he was an interstellar. 
Lady Bird, he was in that. He's in the Adderall Diaries. I haven't seen that. I lived it. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. <laughs> Did you? That's that movie with James Franco. Yeah, Ed Harris is in it. Shit. Christian Slater. Christian Slater's in the Adderall yeah. Diaries? He's like, yeah. Adderall's awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Love Adderall, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Crashing uh, up and snorting, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, there was a vein, man. <laughs> vein. Good looking think, cast, dude. Batista. Yeah. Yeah, right. It's gonna be good, dude. Yeah, it's uh I'm excited. Doctor Yu. Chin Chang. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, Doctor Yu is the one that fucking name him is up. racist, you know, like <laughs> Chin Chang. Yeah. Hello, my name's Chin Chang. Yeah. Is yeah. <laughs> it? I don't think you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> Chin Chang. He from Taiwan. Yeah, wow, they picked a young dude to play Paul. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Well what I thought that um, when they're like Jason Momoa's in it, I'm like, oh, he's playing the lead. So Paul's gonna show up like, I'm here to kick ass and take names. <laughs> I'm all out of names, you know. <laughs> I'm here to do spice and kick ass. <laughs> I'm all out of spice. Wait, this is from March the 22nd, right here. It says Thor star Chris Hemsworth welcomes Deadpool to the MCU. Says Thor actor Chris Hemsworth welcomed Deadpool and Ryan Reynolds to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a great social media post. While the Merc with the Mouth is under the Disney umbrella now, it isn't clear just where he's going to fit in. While fans would love to see the character ham it up with Thor and the rest of the crew in Avengers Endgame or in the future in a future MCU project, it seems unlikely due to Wade Wilson's gravitation towards foul language and taboo topics. To welcome Deadpool to the MCU, Chris Hemworth posted some fan art of the Merc with a Mouth wearing Thor's helmet while carrying a tiny version of Mjolnir. So it's happened. The inter- the the migration has happened. The Marvel migration. The Mar- Marvel migration, baby. You know what that means? We might get like some either X Men or Fantastic Four shit. As a They're fucking, buying all the comic book characters, dude. Well, that that's all of them now, except for uh, Spider Man. They'll get him. Yeah. Well, they've got They'll get it. Yeah, Sony wants that Spider Man money. Well, and they let them. They let them use him. Never thought that yeah. would happen. Yeah, they would be stupid. You know, not. Sony is uh like some Chinese. Like that's all Chinese there. Um. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. <laughs> Eric well, Roth. He wrote the Doom screenplay. He did Forrest Gump. The Curious Case shit. of Benjamin Button, The Insider. Might be fucking amazing. Star is Born. Ah, uh, I... <sighs> Well, I don't really ah. see much else. No, nah, it's going on here. I mean, it's a bunch of comic book news, but it's all speculation about Endgame. Yeah. So. And we're not comic book men, so. No. I mean, we can speculate all day, but I don't want to read somebody else's speculation. Because there's so many, dude. I know. Everybody has a fucking opinion. Dude, if I had a dollar for every theory I've watched on YouTube. <laughs> I know, right? And they're all yeah. different. Yeah. And then this happens, and what if this happens? And then they pull out the strap. It's all a on. dream. It's like, ah, we're not doing that. Wait, before I go, or before we go, have you heard about the Ant Man Thanos thing? Like, have you seen the memes and all the mm-hmm. shit about it? So apparently, everybody's going online and saying the the way they kill Thanos is Ant Man's gonna uh, make himself small, climb in Thanos' ass, and then makes himself bigger and rip him apart from That's the inside out. Kevin Feige, or the Russo brothers, one came out on Twitter and said, Ant-Man will not be crawling up Thanos' fucking asshole. Yeah. 
Like they posted that on Twitter. It's like it's, but dude, it keeps happening. Like you'll see like a an ant and it's in some like hot sauce and it's like Ant Man preparing to go inside Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's everywhere, dude. Like, her oh, up. Shit. <laughs> For real. Uh, talk about a hemorrhoid. Am I wrong? It's the internet, dude. <laughs> it is. Nobody's gonna crawl up anybody's ass in a Disney movie. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so crazy? It would be. Though? It'd be like a David Lynch movie. Could you imagine really, if he directed Endgame? I really hope that they go back and uh, do a reshoot just to put a fucking joke in there. You know like what I mean? Cut scene. Yeah, just Deleted get Paul scene. Rudd. Yeah, we know how we're gonna beat him. It's like, and Paul Rudd, they all look at him and he's like, "I'm not." Uh, you know, like just one little throwaway shot to to. No, it silhouette. cuts to him and he's standing there like covering shit and Thanos is just laying everywhere. Like, <laughs> like they ain't got to show it, but they can. Yeah, they can hint to it though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, dude, it's everybody's posting memes. Everybody's posting fucking um, like all kinds of shit about this uh, Ant-Man crawling in Thanos asshole thing. If it's I was going to do it, I'd say like he crawls inside his ear. Or, yeah, like goes but, like almost you know, almost to the brain, and then like gets real yeah. big. Yeah, but no, nah, so asshole. Dead, nah, dude. <laughs> That's what everybody's going with. Or like he asshole. like crawls on like a piece of popcorn, and Thanos eats it. Yeah. They're like, please turn off your cell phones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he swells up, but he could like Ant Man could swell up and fight Thanos, like step on him. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's like the ultimate fucking superhero. How did they yeah. make Ant Man so cool? I know, right? Paul Rudd, like, man. Yeah, he's he's magic. He's magic. Well, that's all we got, or that's all I got. That's it, man. We covered a lot. I'm not gonna be able to do it next week, so if, if you uh, we might do one or we could just skip it. I mean y'all do whatever y'all want to, huh? Might be hard to lock him down. Yeah, right. He's like, I'm YouTubing. Yeah, it's like, what? Yeah. Like, creating YouTube content? No. Watching, watching it. it. <laughs> what are you watching? All of it. Yeah. It's like, dude. He's like, I got five years of YouTube to catch up on. Yeah, I hope you took a vacation day. Shit. Yeah. Called him to work. Yeah, right. I'm sick because I've been up all night watching YouTube. Yeah. Trav's back, people. We've been he's waiting back. for Travis to get internet for like 10 years, it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> but he's back. For an eternity. Day. Yeah. But so, he's back. Yeah, thank God. It's been about time. It has been about time. <laughs> man, about time. But yeah, but yeah I, I don't know what's happening next week. We won't do a movie. Right. We won't do the next movie because, you know, we might get on and talk. I don't know. Yeah, y'all should do a uh, a real estate talk, a chill, real a talk. real talk. Yeah, do Just movie fucking, news. Yeah, do movie news, talk shit. We're good you know, at that, for real. All right, man. I guess that's all she wrote. All right, guys. Keep it real. Keep it frigid. <laughs> Tricks of the mail. Yeah. Bad lieutenant decision. Picking that fucking ear up. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and fucking that bitch. Really? Yeah, man. he shouldn't have done like, that. No, nah, he shouldn't have went back to her house. You can't wash that home. crazy off. That's like... Hell no. That's like next she level went. crazy. Like, it's like Super Saiyan crazy. And I like how, like, at the end of it, you know, she... uh she hey, playing with she, her kid? Well, no, it, she shows up. She says he put his disease in me, all this weird shit. And that chick was freaking out. And then, like... 10 minutes later, he's at the hospital and he goes, he calls her. He said, do you forgive me? She goes, oh, Jeffrey, I forgive Dude, you. Dude, this was some exquisite <laughs> acting on her part. Like, she was like, "Yeah, oh, my God. I uh, forgive you. Should I come to the hospital? No, it's okay. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Call your dad. Yeah, please. Tell him to get over to and, her apartment. And then he goes to the apartment. Like, why the fuck does he think going there is a good idea? He's not a cop. Yeah. He's nobody. This He's dude is playing Nancy Drew the whole time. Like, <laughs> you know? Fucking, yeah. Goes in there, no weapon. Still got the keys. No nothing. Never yeah, gave the keys back. Like, yeah, just in case it gets lonely. Yeah. 
Must have known. But when he went in there, I thought that was the girl's dad dead. Yeah, I know, right? I was, I was like, like, oh, shit. shit, that ain't good. It just got real, yeah. But they had already been planning to bust this dude. Yeah. He, they helped, them. Fucking... he helped them, though. Like, yeah. All those pictures and stuff. Like, He went in machine guns blazing. Yeah. They did, the police did. Check it out. That's all I got to say. About Keep it real, checks in the mail.